Okay, so we're still here at the Barbecue Fun House in Bahalia, Mississippi. Still cooking with Mr. Mark Lambert here, and we got some product on No Hickory. A lot of people that are going to watch this video doesn't really know what No Hickory is. Can you kind of explain to us what Absolutely. this is and kind of how it works? This is a foolproof barbecue oven. Now, oh, wait a minute, you said foolproof. Man, I'm telling you, it is foolproof. If you like this thing according to directions, and you don't unplug it or run out of power, this thing is going to cook and everything's going to turn out great if you leave it in there long and okay. don't peek at it too much. But the great thing about it, they've kind of put together, you may have heard the barbecue gurus or uh, temperature control devices. They built everything into this cooker. This is called an Ace MM. And you guys that aren't in the competition barbecue world, MM is Mike Mills. I think uh, I've heard of that guy. Yeah, he's you know, he's, like, he's won a few things too yeah. in this. He's won a few championships, yeah. yeah. So Mike's an old, time, a long time old Hickory supporter, and um, he likes this style cooker. He cooks under a vent hood a lot of times in a lot of his restaurants, mm -hmm. and this fits under a vent hood, fits through a three foot door. That's kind of the way they designed it. Um, the ones in the restaurants usually are gas fired, and they have a charcoal basket, right. and you put wood in there and, and charcoal for flavor, and the gas sort of makes it easy. Okay. It turns off and on as it needs. It has a convection fan in the front, and as the heat and smoke travel through the firebox up the back, this convection fan spins all that air around so you don't have that static cold air around a piece of meat. Right. And what it does, it just speeds up the process and makes it cook more evenly top to bottom. Okay. Um, this, however, is a charcoal only option. Uh, it runs just straight charcoal and the difference is there's a little vent in the door and there are little vents on the exhaust up top as well. Okay. And it allows you to control the draft manually. And you can load this thing up with charcoal and it'll run for a solid eight hours, unattended. It's got a little dial on the side here. You can set it where you want it to set it. Takes it about 45 minutes to come up to temp, but when it does, uh, it it moves so efficiently, you can't even see the thermometer move. When you open and close the door, it really doesn't affect it that much. It'll come back to temp in about five minutes or so. Um, you set the temperature the way you want it, and there's a fan that feeds a precise amount of air. Okay. Keep the temperature where you want it. It's, it makes it that easy. So okay. if you can light a fire and plug it in, you can cook. You can cook. How about that? <laughs> How do you get much better than that? It don't get any easier. That's the great thing about Old Hickory, and that's what's made it uh, sort of a, a fixture in the, the commercial barbecue world because a lot of the people that work in those restaurants aren't necessarily pit masters, but it makes them very efficient and it makes it very repeatable in a restaurant. So that's why they're that's why so they're, they're they're able to duplicate it day after day. Yep. Yeah, regardless of what shift they're on or how long they've been around, if they can read how to do it, they can teach them how to do it really easy and quickly on the liquor. Okay. Now this is a pretty big box here. This is not the only one they make. No, they make um, uh, two sizes smaller, and all these are designed to fit through a three foot door. Uh, but they make them huge. They make them big enough to hold 200 pork bones. Wow. So depending on the size of the operation, uh, these are just nice because they fit through doors and they fit under a vent hood. Okay. And you don't have to build a separate smokehouse outside. So you can bring all that inside, still have real barbecue on the inside, in the kitchen, easily accessible, easy to clean out. And then a lot of people, instead of running, they make a double wide version of this. Mm -hmm. Some people still run two of them because it gives you the ability to clean one and run one, or if you have if you have a part go out or something while you're waiting, then you're never out of operation. Okay. So they're very handy to have, uh, maybe not necessarily, if you've got a, a restaurant and barbecue is not your your uh, your main menu, right. you're able to add that into the menu, into a regular restaurant, bring barbecue in and, and do it for real. Kind of another revenue stream yep. that you don't have. Absolutely. Okay. You see in Port Belly is really gaining popularity right now. Right. And with the popularity of pork belly, you can't necessarily get the same thing out of no. Yeah. So they're able to bring this in and bring new flavors, uh, new twists on dishes by putting smoke on it. And Old Hickory helps them out. Yeah, that's cool. Well, Mark, I appreciate you showing us around Absolutely, here. Absolutely, man. Happy to do it. Mark Lambert. And you can look up the Old Hickory. It's oldhickorypitch.com, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Tell them we all sent you. Thanks for checking us out today on Meat Revival. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get all the latest updates. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. We'll see you next time.